Hey guys! <laughs> I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. Anyways, hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and recently I figured I would try to do a new series on this channel. So this is the start of something new, High School Musical. This is the first of hopefully what'll turn into a weekly series on this channel. I wanna start doing a weekly vlog. You know, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes from YouTube, right? Like I don't build Lego all day and I wish I did. Like I wish I could just sit down and build Lego for like eight hours straight, but that is not the case at all. There's so much editing and filming that goes into it and so I figured I would just kind of take you along on that journey with me plus selfishly I just really enjoy making these vlogs so today's Wednesday and I actually just finished taking the thumbnail for my birds of paradise because I'm gonna be streaming later today it's 11 a.m. my streams at 1 30 and I'm really excited to build this look how fun it looks also I learned recently that the birds of paradise it's not supposed to be like the derpy looking bird like to me I see the head over here Right? And it's just kind of like this like meh kind of bird. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll find a picture. But it's actually the other way where the head's over here and it's supposed to be a lot more elegant. So I learned something today. Maybe um, you've also learned something. But also I have some mail that's been tucked away over here for, oops for quite a while. And so I figured I would do a live unboxing today and that's something I've never done before. So I figured I would give it a try. This one is from Keel Jones, but then the other one, it doesn't say who it's from, but I'm excited to see what it is. Someone did comment on my channel recently because I was talking about these Powerpuff Girl minifigures that I really wanted, but I couldn't find any Lego dimensions in town. And they said that they would mail them to me. Um, so I think that's what this is. I think that's what this package is. I'm not sure. <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave those down there for now. But something else I wanted to do before today's stream, so we still have like two and a half hours, I need to clean up this room. Like as you can see over here, this display is just, it's not good. There's just like stuff, stuff, more stuff. I have a Cabbage Patch doll that Mike sent to me. That was kind of fun. And then a Scooby Build-A-Bear, a Longhorn Build-A-Bear, Febreze. And then literally just just more stuff here so I really need to figure out what to do with all of it because some of it can go into the Lego City like I'm thinking about making Endor part of my forest thing in the Lego City but we'll see and then there's just instructions I just need to clean it up so that's kind of part of what I want to do today oh also let me show you this display so I have the Flintstone some brick heads dragon stuff party boat stuff it's a mess but yeah I'm gonna get the Ewok village and just like fix it up because there's just kind of pieces literally everywhere and then bring it into my Lego city. So I literally keep breaking things today. I really don't know how I do that, but here's Ewok Village. I need to just put it together a little bit. We have like just pieces all around. But then on the floor over there, you can see, what is it? Like it's like a friend's hairdresser set in literal pieces. So I have to deal with that later as well. Ooh, that's cool, okay. I just need to get this little net on here and then I think I'm done. Okay, so here's the finished Ewok Village. Isn't this cool? I guess it's kind of hard to see on camera right now, but like there's this giant area over here and it's super foresty and so many details, it's so much fun. And then this part over here, there we go. Look at that, isn't that cool? I don't know, I just love this little bridge there too. Let's get this over to the Lego City. Okay, that was successful. Now we just have this one piece and I'll bring you guys with me for this one. Okay, so here's where I placed it for now. And it's cause this area in the city is gonna be like a forest. And I want it to go from like normal downtown area to like normal campground, normal forest, and then move into magic and dragons and elves and probably Star Wars now too. So yeah, this is just gonna live here for now. Obviously like the forest is not even started, but at least the set is about where it's supposed to go. So now I have a bunch of leftover pieces from the Ewok Village. So I just need to take care of those real quick. Also, check out Endor Leia. Isn't this such a cool minifig? I just love this. The braids and everything are perfect. I really like it. Okay, so I just ran down and got some of these Ziploc bags here. And I'm just gonna bag up some of these sets that I just don't really care too much about. I just broke that, did you see that? But anyways, I have these Dots picture frames, Minecraft Bee Farm, Miniland from the Legoland set, Carrot House, this guy, the Elf Brickheads, but actually I think I might just add them to my Brickheads collection. And then we've got this helicopter here, and I think this came in the original Daily Bugle set. It also has a little claw at the bottom, which is kind of fun. I don't even know what's in these. These are like old bricks and minifigs purchases. So this one is Star Wars 75041. I don't know what this is called, so I'm gonna go look it up right now. It 
it's a vulture droid. And then the other one's like a Justice League set from the Batman movie, which is kind of in pieces. So as you guys saw earlier, I have the one bookcase over there, but I have another one that still needs to be built downstairs and I just don't wanna do it. Like that's very far from the top of the list of things that are fun for me. I just have so many new sets, especially from the August wave that are just around my room. I don't know what to do with them. I don't like having cluttered shelves. Like I'm very minimalistic, but it's so hard to be a minimalist when you have Lego literally everywhere in your house. Well, not everywhere. It's only like in three rooms, but still like, it's so hard. You can't be a minimalist with Lego. Or if you can, please tell me down in the comments how you do it, because I, I don't know how. So I showed you the set earlier. This is Miniland from the Legoland set. And I really want to do something with this in my Lego city. I've seen some people put it like around their city as like scenery. So I might try to do that, but for now I'm just going to put it away because I just feel like I'm going to lose it. So it's in here for now. So this was my first Minecraft set and I really like it. I think it's so cute, like the little bees swarming around right there. But I just, I just don't know where to put it. It doesn't look that great on display and I might add it to the Lego city at some point because I just feel like these are good pieces. Like you could just make this into, <laughs> you can make some pretty cool scenery with this. But yeah, for now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it away. All right, so I have most of the stuff in bags now. I just need to go put it into like a plastic bin. I haven't done the bricks and minifig stuff yet. I think I just need bigger bags. These are a little small. But anyways, I'm feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go find some food. I don't know why I did that. That mic isn't even connected to anything. See? Okay, so now I am fed and happy. <laughs> now it's time to start. Getting ready for my stream. I have coffee on the table, and if I move the table, it was gonna spill, so I have to move it first. Here's the set I'm building, or there we go. I have my little super chat and member board. Lights. I should probably plug in my mic. That's a, that's a good idea. I have Ladybird here for moral support. You good girl. Disco ball. Okay, so here's my tripod, and then I grab this pole that's gonna sit on top, attach a camera to it. And sometimes when I'm setting up my stream, I wonder why the screen's black. And then I remember that I didn't plug in my camera, so. So I just finished the stream and this looks way better than I thought it would. Like check out this base though. It's so solid and then you pour some of these inside of it just to make it look more like soil. But these leaves look really nice. I was worried that they would look kind of cheap, kind of flimsy. I don't know, I just wasn't really thrilled about that. But then the flowers look so cute. This looks way better in person. Like the box here, or rather I guess the instructions, the image does not do it justice. This is amazing. And I actually brought up the flower bouquet for the stream as well, just to kind of give a comparison. But the thing about the flower bouquet here is that it doesn't come with a vase. And this one does, and it looks so good. Like it's so minimalist and slick. Like I, I love it. I think it's really good. I definitely prefer the flower bouquet over the bird of paradise, but I think the bird of paradise is better than the bonsai tree. So I think I might do a video on that at some point, just kind of comparing all of the botanical collection. Cause I also have a bunch of the roses and tulips on display on my back wall here that are also really nice. The tulips are definitely my least favorite. These do not look that great, but the roses are pretty cool. All right, so Ross just got home. We're gonna go outside and play with the dog a little bit and then head out to dinner. You wanna get the ball? Where's the ball? Literally right there. Get the ball. Thank you. The ladybird's favorite thing in the world is this game called kickies where essentially you basically just kick a tennis ball and then she gets it it's like fetch except you don't have to touch it you eat nice there it is turns out that, <laughs> there's uh, a wing shortage that yeah there's still a wing shortage an ikea leg shortage it's terrible so we got to pay a surcharge if we want buffalo wings no but yeah this place is great it's also one of the top five chicken wing spots in the u.s hey ross can we get a car like that i'm i'm just wondering why we don't already have a car like that something fun about this place is they have a bunch of different sauces but my favorite one where is it oh dr pepper update on what's going on with the chicken wing shortage they're offering like chicken thighs as a substitute and this all kind of happened because I asked the waitress why, and she said chicken thigh. Oh my gosh. And now we're here. Is it good, Ross? It's good. I got boneless wings, which are basically chicken fingers. There's a key ring just hanging out in the dirt. Yeah? Should we go grab it? No, I just like to look at it. What do you think the animal on your shirt says? It's a bird, right? <laughs> so Emily and I have been to, going to Pluckers for a long time. Actually, I've been going to Pluckers for like over 10 years now and I've acquired a lot of points. 
So we're finally cashing in on the points and we've had, I think five free meals now. So this is about to be number six. So I think we have 3000 points, which means I think that, I think that means in 10 years I've spent over $3,000 here. Bricks and minifigs! 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 Bricks and bricks and bricks and Wait, can we like try Wild Birds Unlimited? <laughs> Feed me! Feed me! I want to go and stand right there so the other bird is feeding me. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Ross, let's go. We have that set. We made a little mock from it. I want to get more of it. I want more short troopers. They came in that set. There was like a different one in the Thai Striker. Ooh, big white dino. So you know the Imperial brick that just came out? This <laughs> yeah. is like a different variant of it. Oh my gosh. It's Rolls. definitely just a gray brick. Just saying. <laughs> I don't even feel bad saying that. And then here we have a new sealed inbox. 7106. What set is this? Droid Escape? Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, it's really cute. You know, like when they leave the Star Destroyer, and the Star Destroyers are like, nah, let's not shoot that one. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then all the rest of the movie takes place. Oh, here we have some more dinos. Oh, he's scary, actually. He's really scary. I don't like him. They're all scary. Why are they so scary? And then up here we have some Ninjago dragons. These are so cool. Look at all the details. Y'all, I really do want to get into Ninjago. And this set looks cool. I don't know, man. I don't know why I was passing up Ninjago before, but these are pretty sweet. Look at that sub. So cool. And then, oh my gosh, they actually have this here. So this was a gift with purchase kind of thing in stores. Buy like $90 of Ninjago stuff and then spend an extra 10 to get this. But they have this here for 35. That's pretty good. I don't really want it, but kind of cool to see that they have it. That minifig's cool. Who is that? Harumi? Cool. And apparently they stocked up like crazy from the August 1st Friends wave. They have some of the really cool new sets. The, I don't know, like the magical carnival type sets. The bunnies, so cute. And it's more of those down here as well. We also get Mia's house. That's a cool set. I like that. I like the shutters on there. I hope those are printed. They're probably stickers though, but really cute as well as elves this is like my favorite retired theme besides scooby i love the dragons they're so cool oh man and here we have some more scary dinosaurs oh he's actually cute Aw, I actually really like that one. He's not too scary. This guy's scary though. He's also a little scary. I was not into Lego when Hero Factory was actually on the shelves, but it's really cool to see it here. I guess it was after Bionicle. They look pretty cool, just not really for me. Also definitely kind of scary. They have this old Harry Potter set here and the minifigs are just crazy. In terms of DC sets, they have Jokerland here. And I don't want this one, but I want the bigger version of it. Like the giant Joker Funland set. I really want that for my Lego city eventually. Bricks and minifigs. What'd you get Ross? I got Star Wars stuff. Yeah. I got a couple of the Sith Troopers. Ooh. I was able to find a Shore Trooper. So Ooh, that's that's a cool. And then they had like the Geonosian Starfighter set. It came with this, but it was missing some of the figures, but I have all the figures that it was, oh, it's missing. So I got it for a pretty good deal. Yay. So.